This is the Minworth Sewage Works, dealing with the waste from two and a half million brummies. And much of it ends up inside these giant digesters, producing methane. And since 1998, around 40% of that methane has been used to generate electricity and heat. Now it's too noisy to talk in here, but as you can see from my elegant miming, this is a very hot room, because this process wastes a lot of energy in the form of excess heat. So now, for the first time in the UK, they're trying something different. Not burning the gas to produce energy, but cleaning it up and piping it straight into people's homes. The way we do it is uh, we, we wash it, we squash it, we check it with National Grid and then we, we inject it into their network. And all that washing happens in these silver towers. It's mostly out of sight, but very rarely you can see the gas if it's being flared off. So this is a fairly new idea and like lots of green energy it is supported by subsidy. However the government is consulting on the level of subsidy for ideas like this and it does mean if it does change drastically it is an idea that may not be rolled out to other sites. So how long from flush to freshly washed gas being used to heat a pan of beans for tea? By the time it reaches our digestion plant it sits in there for about two weeks whilst it's being uh, digested by the, the bacteria that we have in there and then it starts to produce the gas and that, it, it's that gas then that we can, we can clean and we can put into the network. It, it's almost uh, an instantaneous flow from it actually coming off the digesters to going out into the network. Not so much green energy as brown energy. David Gregory Kumar, BBC Minister Today, Birmingham.